Hello everybody and welcome back to the Chassis Variant series of myself, Critical Rocket. And here we are with the one and only video for the Firestarter, the Firestarter Mirage, or just Firestarter M. Uh, it's a pretty simple variant. It basically switches out all of the flamers that are equipped on the mech and uh, replaces them with uh, two small lasers, one in each arm, and uh, adds an extra three ton of armor. Essentially, it turns the Firestarter from being a, a sort of incendiary support light into a more uh, frontline capable light that would be focused on engaging vehicles, infantry, and other light and some medium battle mechs. Uh, so, outside of that, obviously, its speed and engine are relatively similar. Uh, the profile, so the jump jets remain the same. So, you basically have uh, like a, a nasty little skirmisher. It still keeps the machine guns as well. So, you have uh, a pretty decent little setup here. It's one of those ones where uh, energy becomes. Uh, an important factor, but also heat management is relatively simple uh, for this mech, and uh, it's a good little uh, upgrade. You can make it out of the standard FS9H, uh, the default fire starter, and uh, it's a relatively cheap and simple upgrade to make, so you don't have to worry too much about uh, cost if you did want to try this out yourself. So uh, the background of it is that it was built in the Lyran Commonwealth on the planet of Sky. Uh, only for a year though, it was uh, set to become one of the more regular versions uh, used by the Lyran military forces. But uh, a raid by House Curita in 2893 essentially put paid to that because the world was under heavy attack, it was at risk of falling to Curitan forces, and as such uh, a desperate decision was made to essentially uh, destroy some dams located in the area using nuclear devices Acquired. that would uh, create heavy flooding, kill most of the curated infantry, and uh, basically damage a lot of the infrastructure and uh, industry on the world, and resulted in uh, the planet kind of fading from prominence of what it once had. Essentially the factories were lost, uh, the ability to build the Mirage uh, ceased, and now only a, a single unit, the Sky Rangers, have any remaining uh, Mirage versions of the fire starter. Uh, interesting little niggle, and something that sadly you can't do in MWO is you can't uh, paint one arm black in the commemoration of that uh, event uh, because you know everything's got alpha channels and you can only set, you're going to get three channels and they're all set based on the uh, skin you're using. I mean, I suppose you could use the, I think it's the Raider one. Uh, where one arm would be coloured, but then you'd have a leg that was coloured, so it still wouldn't fit properly. Yeah, uh, it would have been nice, but you know, I, I understand how sometimes that can be uh, difficult in games where allowing people to paint specific parts of the mechs. But anyway, that aside, do I like it? I do. Uh, kind of reminds me of running the uh, Royal variant of the Locust in that it's uh, relatively fast, obviously, it's a bit more resilient to damage, it's got a bit more armour in there, the extra three ton alone makes it pretty good. Uh, heat, as I said, isn't a major issue. You do have to fire the lasers a lot to really start feeling any heat issues. And the damage isn't like phenomenal, especially in MWO, but it is, it's rapid enough that in a, a brawl like this, uh, you're always adding, you're always, you know, slowly building up the damage. You're always like wearing someone down while they're focusing on another target. You're always putting in the damage. And uh, this match was a great example of that. Uh, the, the enemy just sometimes literally fell into my line of sight and uh, allowed me to just focus fire on them. Uh, it was a really, really good round. It was actually the first one, uh, first attempt at recording it, which uh, rarely happens, but when it does, it's, it's very welcome. Um, yeah, there are... I was looking around, there are other variants of the fire starter that you could do, but they are literally things like the mediums become ER mediums, and that's pretty much it. Or there are variants that have tech that just isn't in MechWare Online. So, yeah, the, the Firestarter M is pretty much the only version that uh, I can really think that's worth showing off here as part of the uh, the Chariot series. So, yeah. Um, it's, it's not a big deal because obviously at the time of recording this, um, the following day uh, will be the release of the Charger and Hatamoto Chi. Uh, two new Innisphere 80 ton assault mechs added to MWO, so uh, there'll be two new videos out then. Uh, alongside uh, Law Warriors. Oh god, I haven't thought about that. I'm going to do the two Law Warriors now. Oh god. Anyway, yeah, so we've got um, a an interesting week ahead of, uh, of this December of 2018. 
So, um, yeah, that, that, that should be good. So apologies for only one video this, this Monday. I know the previous Monday we didn't have a video because it was the Metcon roundup, but um, it was nice of the break. Um, I'll have to admit, because sometimes it's a bit... Uh, I, I'm, I'm really terrible. I, I overthink it and I stress a lot about getting these videos done for Monday and, you know, trying to find the... getting the time to record them, building the mechs and all the rest of it. You know, making sure that we've got the video done and, uh, and uploaded so people have got something to watch on the Monday. And yeah, it, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm sorry it's only the one video today, so yeah. Um, it's... Uh, it was good though. Uh, I like this. Uh, this this one is an interesting uh, little uh, sidestep of what you typically see from the fire starter. Uh, I, I remember years ago when the Ember was basically the only fire starter worth bringing. Although I do also remember the the fire starter in in essence was kind of the early Arctic cheater. There was uh, builds that had it only using small or small pulse lasers, and it was very powerful. And uh, the fire starter has since obviously lost that uh, that crown that made it one of the best light mechs in the game. But uh, yeah, I still think it's got the potential to be one of the nastiest little uh, backstabbers and ankle biters in MechQuarrie Online. If you, if you haven't tried it, certainly give it a look. There are some of them have got a lot of energy hard points, and 35 tons. You've got a decent amount. Oh, did you see that then? I did not know you could do that. You can actually jump jet onto the uh, the metal piping underneath, so you can stand a mech on top of that. Uh, there was just a fluke jump jet there that uh, got me up onto that little piece of. Uh, I don't know, uh, scaffolding, support structure, whatever it is, but yeah, uh, did not know you could land a mech on that. It'd be interesting to see if you get a, a, like a heavy or an assault stud on that thing. Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is the end of the round now. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, so, uh, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you have a good week. I will uh, see you for the uh, Charger and the uh, Hatomoto uh, videos. And uh, if you're watching this way after the fact, just thanks for watching. Have a good week, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.